interesting thing that we have seen now in recent presidential elections is the entrance of social media. Because of social media, candidates now have a direct means to communicate with voters. So they're now speaking directly to the voter, and some scholars have really called this a foundational change for political communication research. interesting the way news outlets can take the story and essentially frame it in different perspectives, whereas the candidate themselves on social media can present the story in whichever way the candidate chooses to. This is all happening so quickly. Uh, campaigns are these great laboratory experiments in a way where the, the campaigns use whatever resources and knowledge they have to sometimes try new things as well as the, the tried and true methods of, of influencing voters. But one of the things that's happening this time around is that social media are so much more central to the candidates' um, campaigns, to, to their efforts to reach voters. When Hillary Clinton's logo first came out about 15 months ago, there was a lot of initial reaction, for myself included, that it was perhaps very different than we were expecting and perhaps maybe even not successful. But what we've now come to realize is the way that their, her logo was developed, it works extremely well in a social media context. Another interesting example, when Donald Trump announced his running mate, Mike Pence, uh, his campaign initially put forth a logo that was mocked heavily, heavily, heavily on social media. It was immediately taken down. The co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, Clayton Morris, joins us now with the latest on the convention buzz. As we were saying, Clayton, over this logo, what was yeah. going on with that? Oh, well, so it was kind of amazing because what you actually had was the logo rolled out, and this was the first time I think social media totally drove this thing into the ground. So we don't no longer use one single source or platform or tool to be able to find and verify stories. That's probably the biggest way in which social media is really changing the way in which journalists work around election cycles, that we just now have access to so many more potential sources and stories, um, both in our own geographic area and across the whole of the states. So that gives us an opportunity to find stories that perhaps we might have missed before or would have struggled to find previously. So these are fantastic tools and resources and they've enabled us to access more stories and people and ideas than ever before. But you have to bring uh, strong journalistic sensibilities to these tools to get the most out of them.